Hello students, today we're doing lesson three and this is subtract whole numbers. So we're actually gonna be doing two things. We're gonna be actually subtracting the whole numbers and we're gonna be estimating the whole numbers. So um, let's go ahead and start with estimation. Okay, and I'm gonna do one and then you're gonna do one on your own and then we'll check that one together. Okay, so in this, in the first part, you're gonna say estimate um, or it's going to say round each number to the greatest place to estimate. So estimate um, by rounding to greatest number. And we talked about this a little bit in the last lesson. And the way you do the greatest number is the number that's all the way to the left. Okay, so here's going to be our example one. Um, 76,844, and we're going to subtract 12,218. Okay, so before we subtract, on this part, we're going to estimate. So we're going to round it first to the greatest number. So my greatest number is in this, this spot, right? So for 76,844, I'm going to round to this number, so that means I look to the right, and that 6 tells me to go up on the 7. So the 7 is going to become an 8, and everything else will be zeros. Okay, now looking over on the 12,218, 1 is in the greatest place. We're going to look to the right, and the 2 tells me that the 1 is going to stay the same. So that's going to be 10,000. And now I can subtract. 80,000 minus 10,000 is 70,000. So that's how we estimate. Okay, so now I want you to do example two. And example two is going to be 818,073. And we're going to subtract 165,000. 469. So all we're going to do is do the same thing I did in example one. You're going to find the greatest uh, place, right? Um, yeah, this shouldn't have said greatest number. It should have been greatest place. We're going to round to the greatest place. Um, and then you're going to subtract. So go ahead and hit pause and do it on your own and then come back and listen. It's really important that you actually pause the video and try it on your own so that you can see where you're making your mistakes before you start having to do your homework today. So hit pause and do example two on your own. Okay, you should have done it all on your own now and you've come back. So I'm going to look at my greatest place. So on here it's the hundred thousands. I'm going to look to the right, and on this one, the one tells me that it's going to stay 8, and everything else is going to be zeros. Okay, so instead of 818,000, we're just going to put 800,000. And then on the second one, we're looking at the one, but we move over and look at the 6, and that's 5 or greater tells me that that one is going to go up, so it's going to be 200,000. And then I'm going to subtract these two. When you're subtracting, right, you're just bringing down and subtracting everything. And now I have 8 minus 2 is 6. So your answer for example 2 should have been 600,000. If you did not get that right, go back and listen to what I said on here to see how maybe you round it wrong somewhere. Why did you round wrong? Maybe you round to the wrong place. Make sure that you're doing the greatest place, and then you look to the right to say whether you go up or down. And we did rounding yesterday, or not yesterday, but the other day. So if you want to go back and look at that, go back to lesson two. Okay, now we did our estimating. <clears throat> now I want to do some actual subtracting. And um, <clears throat> usually I follow some examples in the book, but these, a lot of these I'm just going to make up on my own because I want specific ones for you. Okay, so let's start with something super easy, like 679 minus 321. Okay, so subtraction just means I'm doing, I start at the right-hand side, very important. Anytime you're doing it, add, subtract, multiply, or divide, you always start on the right-hand side. And I say nine minus one is eight. 
and I go to the next one. Seven minus two is five, and then six minus three is three. So my answer is 358, right? Okay, let's do one that has some um, borrowing in it. So if I had, let's kind of take almost the same type of problem. Let's say 618, and I'm going to subtract um, 357. Okay, so I tried it. I'm trying to make these kind of easy to start out with. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing. 8 minus 7 is 1. Now, 1 minus 5, you can't do that problem. You can't take away 5 from 1. So I'm going to have to borrow from the one next door. So I'm going to borrow from the 6. So that's going to become a 5. And this is going to become an 11. So when you're borrowing, you take 1 away from the 6 and make sure that you write what it becomes. So I took 1 away. So that 1 comes over here, right? So 5 plus 1 is that 6. Okay, but the 1 becomes makes this become an 11. So now I have 11 minus 5 is 6, and 5 minus 3 is 2. Make sure when you're borrowing that you're doing it, um, that you're taking this away right here. You don't just put a 1 here. You have to make sure that you take that 1 away from the 1 in front of it. Okay, let's do um, two more that may are probably a little bit more um, difficult. Okay, so those two were pretty easy. Let's do 18,012. And I'm going to subtract 7,438. Okay, so I have a zero in here, and that zero is going to cause some problems in a minute. So let's go through this and look at it, okay? Okay, first I say 2 minus 8. Well, I can't do that. You can't do 2 minus 8, so I'm going to have to borrow. I'm going to borrow from this 1, and that's going to make it 0. Okay, and that's going to make this 12. So 12 minus 8 is 4. Okay, now I have a 0 minus 3. Well, I can't do 0 minus 3, so I need to borrow. But I can't borrow from this 0 because there's no numbers there to borrow. So if you can't borrow from something, which the only one you can't is zero, then you need to change that zero. So you need to say, okay, I'm gonna move one more over and I'm gonna borrow this one. So I'm gonna borrow from the eight, that makes that seven, and now this is a 10. So now I can borrow from that 10, that makes it a nine, and now this one becomes 10. So now I have 10 minus three is seven, nine minus four is five, 7 minus 7 is 0, and then this 1 just comes down, right? Because I didn't need to borrow there. So my answer was 10,574. Okay, I'm going to give you one where, kind of like that one, where you have a 0 in it, and I want you to try it on your own before I go on to some that are a little bit harder. Okay, so here's your problem. Um, wait. 29,000. 540 minus um, 13,618. Okay, I'm making these up in my head because I'm trying to figure out which kind to give you. Okay, so hit pause, solve this one on your own, and then come back and let's see if, we, if you did it correctly. Okay, go ahead and pause now. Okay, everybody should be back. And I noticed when I was looking at this problem over here, it looks like a big, a whole bunch of chicken scratch. So I'm going to try to do this one kind of in color coding, okay, to help you see it. So I'm going to do a bunch.